And then the last one that we're going to do is Zanti. And it's another really, really organic tangle. And I'm gonna work it right into my tile here. Um, I, I'm pretty sure I can work it right in so that because it has that motion of um, organic and it will kind of go with these. So Zanti is, has a kind of a pod shape, but I find it, found it easier to draw if I did that, that stroke right there. Okay, I'm gonna come in so you see it. I did this round stroke going up and then when I came back, I started at the point and then came back because I wanted it to have a little bit of a, that's maybe a little more prominent than what I really wanted. It. I wanted it to come in a little bit, but that's gonna be okay because it's gonna have a little folded look. And then you want to come on the first side and I want the, this stroke to kind of come in like it's, like this particular leaf is kind of, or is folded. I don't want it to be straight off. I want it to come like stroke down that line and then off. And then the same on this side, down and then over. So that if you were to draw down, it just makes it look like it's kind of maybe folded or fold it up around something because we're going to nestle in this space right here. I'm gonna do what I call the crescent moon. So we did a little black spot in the center and then I put two little circles over the top of it. So that it's just kind of nestled down in there. If you were to think about it, it may have that little pearl or may have been clustered inside of there and it's just peeping out. And then we get to add some fescue. And the fescue is gonna come right out of the center of that black. And I'm just going to put three, three little fescues that come right out of the center of that. So we're gonna do it again. We're gonna nestle it in. I'm going to tr just turn my corner a little bit and I'm gonna put another one in. There we have it, and then we come down. That one was a little odd too. I don't know, maybe I'm not being able to draw today. And then we come, and we fold it in. Then we put our little um, crescent moon, and then our little fescues that are coming in come out of it. I'm going to draw one and I'm going to see if I can't. This one's holly bind underneath that one. So because I wanted something nestled into that. So I just nestled holly bought it right underneath. And when I finish these out, I think it will blend in much, much better. But let's go back and do some shading on these, all of these particular um, tangles that we've done. Because um, we, I, I feel important that shading is very, very important. So I'm gonna go back to this one that I just did, the Zanti, because it's so much fun to shade. You got to to make it look like you've got folds in here. I'm gonna sh I'm gonna put my graphite on the upper part of that line. Thank you. And on that upper part of that line, so that what happens when you put dark, it makes it go to the back. So I'm going to take my shading stump and I'm going to blend this. I don't want it to blend all the way, but I'm just going to, you know, because I've got this little light right there, that's going to be good. And um, there it, I've, I've kind of helped recess that. 
And then I'm going to put some right here in this one because this part kind of folds underneath that one. So you can see that you can get that folded and you can come and put, I'm just going to take my um, shading stamp and just put a little graphite on the outside edge. I didn't add more. I just used my shading stamp to add it. And that helps kind of lift that out on, uh, onto your paper or, you know, make it that three dimensional. And on this one, there's just, I would probably shade in here and underneath. So I'm just gonna shade on my lines and then take my shading stamp and blend. Oh, I couldn't see. I thought, I know I did that twice and I couldn't see where it had gone. <laughs> So that you can shade you can also this one is great to shade in here around that first spiral that you had that you put down because that also gives it some depth and you want to make sure you don't put too much gray in so you stay that dark medium and light and sometimes i will just take my blending stamp and I will just use that without adding any more graphite because that graphite just builds up on there and I've told you how to um, clean those if I if you don't know how to clean you can chime in and I'll show it but um, so I'm going to add another just And it's kind of hanging in the air, so of my, and I'll show you what happens if I don't particularly like how all of this, I'm gonna come back in and add more large and maybe a small circle underneath that so that it, you know, it looks like what I did in the beginning. This one, I will probably come back and fill in all of this background behind these with black just to kind of set them in there. Better finish this one or I'll... But there we have... Oh, I think this tile's turning out cool. I like it. So, lots of, you know, just random tangles that I just picked out and we put them together. This one would also be great to put a little filigree, you know, just wind a, a filigree up in there. It would be great to do that also. Are there any questions today? Did I go slow enough? Apparently I did. No one's saying I didn't. All of these tangles are new to me, but I like Xanti a lot. I love Xanti. I love it. And these were all fairly new to, well, except for the filigree, I had done that before, but all the other three were all brand new to me also. As I, you know, I go to um, uh, tanglepatterns.com and I kind of, she has so many tangles on her site that it is almost impossible to know all of them. And she, you know, when she posts weekly, you can go in there and you can get an email from her about her new, what she's doing the, that week. So if you go to um, tanglepatterns.com and, and subscribe to hers, you get, you know, a little thing that she, you know, an email saying this is the new Tangle this week, or I think she does a couple of them a week. And I do that, and not always do I think I want to draw that, but I will, um, the ones I like, I, I kind of save and, and um, put in a file, and then I will go back and look at those. Well, if that caught my attention once, maybe it still is 
vital to me. So that's where I get a lot. And I do go to, to um, uh, patterncollections.com also and um, look at hers. Um, they're not, I, not as many. I don't know. It's probably equal because there's so many great, great patterns out there. And you end up changing them to your own suit yourself. You're going to, you know, put it in your own artwork, a little different. And so, you know, I just, that's where I hunt for patterns is I, I look at those different sites. Um, actually, um, Linda sends them out every five days a week. There she, there we through Friday. I probably do get them that often. <laughs> I, I'm so far behind on those. Oh, it's ridiculous. Oh. I am too. I, she just is very good at sending those out all the time. And, and I, you know, just lately I have, I have not kept up as much, but you're, thank you that she is great. And if you aren't subscribing to her, you should, because she is amazing. She just collects a lot from a lot of people and I'm, and she, you know, there are a lot are similar but heck we we're okay with that we you know we all pick up a little bit from something so the question you were talking about the step outs where would i go to look for those okay before class begins okay if you go to my my website which is inkadoodles.com yes and then go to the store yes and then go to um there it's on the first page it's called online class okay and then in there you will see the step outs there's may and then there's june and next month it will be labeled july it's the file gets too big i i was putting them all in one file but it got too big for the the store to handle so i had to make them into separate files and then so you can download all of may's or all of june's you know they're all in there and can we do that before class or is it usually after the online class? No, it's before. I usually okay. have those in. I try to have those available by Friday. Oh, the thank week, you. Okay. The week of class so that you can go in and download them. I did have someone say they like to practice a little bit before and I totally understand that. So I try to do them. That's why I really never know if they're going to all go together because I just say, okay, I like that one. I like that one. And this week I put one in and I, I, I took it out because I didn't like it after I went to draw it. <laughs> and I'll probably go back to it later and like it. So Okay. Beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, we're going to stop the recording and then we're just going to let people. And I also have to say,